in a previous video uh, we were discuss, uh, discussing about the models of learning and we emphasized that the type of learning which uh, typically takes place in the university uh, can be described as a conceptual construction and in conceptual construction the idea was that that the, the learner is activating his or her uh, prior knowledge and is uh, dealing uh, with the new learning tasks based on on the prior knowledge and then gradually uh, constructing a meaningful uh, understanding of the new new knowledge and the and the uh, uh, novel uh, knowledge structure which combines uh, different different elements in a meaningful way but now we have the question that how that can happen during lecturing when a teacher is lecturing of course in the beginning uh, uh, he or uh, she has in 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 her mind a mm, uh, knowledge structure but there is no uh, known method to directly uh, uh, move the knowledge structure from teacher's mind to, st uh, to students mind but if uh, learning is based on construction then we have the question that how uh, we can support the construction process uh, during lecturing and when the teacher tried to uh, to uh, mediate this uh, knowledge structure he or she has in her mind, he uh, has to uh, restructure it into form of a didactic structure. And the didactic structure is always a sequence of uh, different utterances, maybe figures, uh, some uh, other methods to to visualize or. Uh, or clarify the topics the teacher is talking about. But uh, this kind of sequence of uh, different activities is not uh, the knowledge structure, the original, original knowledge structure in, in teacher's mind. That only a kind of description, a didactic dis description of that, that knowledge structure. But now we have the question that if this, mm, the, the problem that if the student only tries to remember the different elements of the didactic structure that he or she would uh, listen to the teacher okay now the teacher say that okay now the teacher mentioned uh, uh, this part of the concept now uh, this kind of figure was uh, presented uh, uh, this kind of knowledge the sequence of didactic structures is not what uh, uh, we aim at when we are uh, you know, lecturing. Our aim is to help students to construct a coherent uh, knowledge structure. But how how uh, is this this possible? Uh, we have been uh, studying this problem in our our research group uh, quite a long uh, a long time already, and of course other other uh, groups do that. That's as well. So there is a, a very very clear uh, uh, process which has to take place in students minds in order to uh, to make possible the construction of, of a meaningful knowledge structure which is more or less similar with the knowledge structure that the uh, teacher had in, in the beginning. Uh, one fundamental uh, starting point is or the most fundamental starting point is that the students activate relevant prior knowledge when he or she is listening to uh, teacher's lecturing. And of course this uh, activation of prior knowledge doesn't only happen once, but it is a continuous uh, process throughout uh, uh, the lecture, uh, lecturing. So that uh, there are new, new topics coming in which require activation of, of new new knowledge and then the second issue is that uh, from early on uh, from the first uh, utterances of the teach, uh, teacher to, uh, in, in the lecture the students uh, have to create some kind of ideas about the aim of this uh, 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 the, the lecture so that what 
uh, what kind of topics the teacher is going to deal with, uh, what the person, uh, st students already understand about them, and then uh, this kind of overall anticipation of the aim of the uh, teaching is uh, guiding uh, the interpre interpretation process, the construction process. And then gradually uh, teaching goes on and uh, students activate new prior knowledge and try uh, starts to uh, uh, connect uh, connections or build, uh, uh, to bridge connections between uh, the different elements of the didactic structures in order to make, make sense sense of this uh, uh, teaching, teaching content. And then uh, gradually the uh, students also start to, to make much more precise anticipations that okay, now uh, uh, the teacher has been uh, talking about that uh, the different elements of, of uh, this knowledge and some connections of them, maybe these connections still has to be dealt with or some new, new elements has to be be added. In empirical studies we have been shown that those students who really uh, create a high level uh, knowledge about the, the uh, uh, lecturing or, or verbal, verbal teaching, they are very good in, in making this kind of anticipations. And then uh, when the process uh, continues, uh, the knowledge structure in students' mind uh, starts to uh, to develop and uh, gradually it, it becomes more or less uh, uh, similar than the knowledge structure teacher has in the beginning. It never is a kind of copy or exactly the same kind of knowledge structure what teachers had. The, uh, many elements is typically missing, some very personal uh, experience uh, our uh, experience of the uh, students are connected to the knowledge structures and these are of course different from teachers' uh, teachers' knowledge and maybe these also include some, some misconceptions still. But if the process is successful then uh, at least the, the most fundamental aspects of the knowledge structures are similar with the structure teacher had in his or her mind and what was the topic of the teaching.